weapons. Some of their ideas are downright spooky. Check it out, Mulder. I had breakfast with the guy who shot John F. Kennedy. Is that so? Old dude now, but yeah. Says he was dressed as a cop on the grassy knoll. Hey, Mulder, listen to this. Vladimir Zhirinovsky, the leader of the Russian Social Democrats, he's being put into power by the most heinous and evil force of the 20th century. Barney? <laughs> the CIA. Is this your skeptical partner? She's hot. You don't believe that the CIA, threatened by a loss of power and funding because of the collapse of the Cold War, wouldn't dream of having the old enemy back? I think you give the government too much credit. I mean, the, the government can control a deficit or manage crime. Well, what makes you think they can plan and execute such an elaborate conspiracy? She is hot. Settle down, Fro Hickey. We're not talking about a bunch of idiots up on the hill trying to bone the Capitol pages. We're talking about a dark network, a government within a government, controlling our every move. How can they do that? How? I'll show you how. You got a $20 bill? Hmm. I'll check. Mm -hmm. Hey! <laughs> That's just one method. They use this magnetic strip to track you. Whenever you go through a metal detector at an airport, they know exactly how much you're carrying and where you're carrying it. Hey, Byers, it is a federal crime to deface money. The strip is an anti-counterfeiting measure. How come it's on the inside? Other countries put that strip on the outside. Oh, oh, what are they hiding? Okay, all right. What do you know about the Gulf War syndrome? Agent Orange of the 90s. Artillery shells coated with depleted uranium. Have you heard of any classified planes being flown during the Persian Gulf War? Why would you need to expose a secret plane to an air force that runs to Iran whenever you take to the air? What about UFO activity during that period? <laughs> yeah. UFO has caused the Gulf War syndrome. That's a good one. <laughs> That's why we like you, Mulder. Your ideas are weirder than ours. <laughs> Those were the most paranoid people I have ever met. I don't know how you could think that what they say is even remotely plausible. I think it's remotely plausible that someone might think you're hot. Did you see the way they answered the telephone? They probably think that every call they get is monitored and they're followed everywhere they go. It's a form of self-delusion. It makes them think that what they're doing is important enough that somebody would... What's the matter? <laughs>